in order to be a bank and to be successful, digital has to be an integral part of that strategy and you can't think of it along separate channels. And what we see today on the, from the consumer parts of our business is that the way we're interacting from the way we're, we're attracting customers towards our products and towards the things we're doing has changed. The ways that our customers are choosing to uh, observe and to be part of their financial lives where, you know, as an example I use is, you know, the serial balance checker who used to call our call center five times a day to hear their balance can simply go online or we can actually give them, you know, access to the mobile app where wherever they are they can check those and we can allow people to in essence craft or to be the architects of the information they'd like to receive and what time they'd like to receive it in. And we know that the way our younger customers want to interact with us in some cases is very different from, you know, some of the older generations. We're piloting uh, smart branches around the world where, you know, we're building our new branches in many cases, 700 square feet, no counters, a couple automated cash machines, lending machines, and I think that continues to, uh, to evolve. And again, I, I fully expect over time that we're going to continue to see, as an industry, a reduction in terms of physical branch footprint uh, may not be or, or could be. Uh, the necessarily the number of branches but if you look at branch traffic and the things today that you know, we can do online or we can do in other ways there's not that necessity to go into a branch and like like it was historically